Luna Classic is on the verge right now. What the heck does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about it in this video. Make sure you hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to this channel. I'm here every single day for you, bringing you up to speed on all the news and information all around the crypto space. And you can see here, we're looking at LUNC. This is the hour by hour. So if we go all the way back to September 26, if you guys remember, we got all the way down to the 1.8 level. Things were not looking good at all, right? This big downswing after the initial big top, blow off top that happened back on September 8th, we came all the way back down here twice, hit that 1.8 level. And then we bounced hard off of it, consolidated for quite some time uh, in the mid twos, which we thought we would. And right now we're kind of at this point with, you know, Luna Classic that we're on the verge of something, something happening here. So here's what's good. We're retesting these low support levels right now. Uh, immediate support, you can see here, is right at like this 3.0. It, it dips a little bit below into the 2.9 and then bounces. We're seeing that exactly happen right now. We do not want to dip below the 2.9 though, right? Then, then, we can get a, then we can get a little worried. So here's the thing though. This could be an opportune time. Because we're sitting here at the 2.9, if we go ahead and bounce and go retest this immediate uh, resistance up here at the 3.7, I would not be shocked. Now, in order for us to get there, of course, we need some catalyst. We need volume. So, you know, recently I did a, uh, a video about what Michael Van de Pope, who's a very popular analyst, what he had to say about getting to that 3.045 range. And it's very, very possible if we hold the line here still to get back up to that range. We could see here, look at the technicals. Uh, they're showing a buy pretty much across the board. The 10-day, 20-day, uh, the 30-day SMA, simple moving average, is the only sell signal uh, here with the moving averages. So that's indicating a strong buy according to the moving averages. Summary is a buy. Oscillators are showing a buy as well, which that's good. Everything kind of checks out on, on that front. We're up 65% in the last week, which is great to see, of course, on the heels of the Binance news. Speaking of, we can take a look at uh, you know what's been burned thus far. Binance, 5.6 billion, 1.2% burn tax, closing in on 4 billion. We'll probably hit that uh, sometime later today. Lunatics token still a little bit over 2 billion. Mexi over 1 billion. So that's kind of where we are in the top burners right now. Those are the top four. Uh, so Binance has, of course, leapfrogged everybody, taking that top spot at $5.6 billion. Of course, we'll wait until next Monday until we get the report. But again, we need volume. If we can keep this up and we can burn the $5.6 billion uh, you know, every single week, that'd be great. But remember, we had a lot of volume included in this most recent burn, the first burn. So don't get frustrated if it is a little bit lower than that first burn right next Monday, because again, we had crazy amounts of volume come in in late September. Uh, so we'll see though, but my hope is that this continues and we can burn, you know, upwards to uh, three to 5 billion week over week through Binance. That'd be great. That volume's got to be there though. Uh, and we'll obviously be keeping tabs on it, but from a price standpoint right now, guys, we are on the verge here. We're just, we're basically Bouncing off our immediate support levels, this might be a good time if you're looking to swing trade and what have you. Again, all the technicals still showing a buy, but we're at that bottom part of the chart right now uh, where we've bounced off of a couple different times. You can see right here yesterday we bounced back up uh, into the three twos and even here yesterday up to the three fours, right? So we'll see what happens here uh, today, and hopefully we can maintain this 3-0 level. That's going to be very crucial for us moving forward this week. So we'll keep tabs on it. We'll be back with more. As always, appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to hammer the like button down below and subscribe. Appreciate it. We'll see you.